Hi, OC people. Today I'm here with a very innovative DIY RC car, which can carry literally everything from sand to soil, and uh, it can take take it uh, for different or multiple purposes. Even it can carry water and just to water your plants, and and even it can uh, carry water for other purposes like feeding your um, your turkey as you can see here is a baby turkey which is eating leaves all right so let's delve into the process of making the project first we need a giant piece of pvc board which will cut proportionately first i will need some um scale measurement and then we're going to use this precision uh, blade to cut the uh, part properly and flawlessly then we'll measure or draw a line for uh putting on our or attaching our gear motor got a couple of gear motor they are exceedingly powerful though they are made of plastic but they can uh, definitely work uh, very very formidably and for the rear part of the wheels you're gonna use a little higher platform and i'm gonna use this uh, this kind of improvisation, you can say, this piece of uh, very sturdy uh, pipe um, just to get the, the, the rod of the wheel through. Yes, and I'm going to use only hard glue gun to attach everything because it is not meant to be lasting forever. Rather, it is very uh, temporary and ephemeral to be used and just, some, just, from, just for fun, actually. Yeah uh the the rear part uh rear, rear wheels are already attached and there is no mechanism no motor added to that only the frontal um or whatever oh yeah sorry i, I just missed up messed up actually this is the back part of the of the vehicle where we attach the motor in the frontal wheel doesn't come with any uh motor or anything and here is the battery holder which will be attached and it got a fair bit of or good number of batteries lithium ion batteries and there is the um, remote controller receiver just uh, illuminating or blinking you can see there and here is the receiver uh, that the the antenna that will connect with the um yeah this is the remote control controller which were i was talking about and you can really maneuver or navigate the vehicle uh, now uh, i need to make the body of the i just made the board or the plank of the well now it's time to make the front um the structure of the vehicle and that's why you can see i'm making a uh yes a whole a chamber for the driver's seat and other staffs which is vitally important this as this is meant to be a simulating truck so we'll make the front pos uh, portion uh, quite identical to any conventional um truck and therefore yes and, and it's important when i i paint it using a spray and this is uh, blue as you can see which is my f uh, favorite color and, and for the other parts i'm using silver paint yeah that looks so shiny all right the painting is done now it's time to attach or mount assemble the parts here goes the front chamber the driving uh portion the driver's seat will be there and here is the back fence i'm going to touch using the same hot glue gun and you see it's important i uh attach it thoroughly uh so that i uh i mean unless there should be any licking or any uh passage for water to lick or get through this is massively important that i make sure that no gap is left behind all right the last portion of the fence is attached 
and there's uh, some final additional adhesive attachings here's the front glass which is basically a plastic um, scrap as uh, I just want to make it black so I'm using a um, marker pen to just dye it give it an expression of black glass all right as I didn't make uh, any realistic um, window on either side of the of the vehicle the frontal chamber I decided to paint a couple of window on either side uh, yeah that's my does uh, that, that might seem bizarre to some people but it's still this is uh, how it can look much better uh, compared to having nothing whatsoever to have the complete really plain part uh, plate all right I think uh, our vehicle is all right they're ready to be deployed is just attaching the power battery so let's see if it works yeah it's moving quite smoothly so let's see if it can carry my iPhone 14 Pro Max yes it carries very nice and flawlessly and now I'll put some tech some food logistic support for maybe your uh, military personnel or anything whatever you like it can carry pretty much everything that's all thank you for watching have a great day